Psalms chapter 55. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. For they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pained within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off, and remain in the wilderness, Selah. You ever felt like getting away? <laughs> that's what that's talking about. Excuse me, hold up. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 55, let's continue. Uh, 8. Okay, I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man, mine equal, my guide and mine acquaintance. Did you hear that? He said, basically, if it was an enemy, he would have been able to deal with it. But it was his own acquaintance, friend. That uh turned on him. Um, we took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. Let death seize upon them and let them go down quick in the hell for wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. As for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud. You, you hear this? You some people, they'll be like, oh, well, it's not Sunday or, you know, nah, this says he going to call upon God evening and morning and at noon. That's like all day. He says, will he pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. He have delivered my soul in peace. Praise the Lord. He have delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me. For there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them. <laughs> God shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth of old Selah, because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Hold on, let me get back to that. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord. You see that? Now, that's just amazing. Because I thought to myself, man, I really be giving God all my problems, but that's what it says to do. Cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee. 